Welcome everybody to the Prepper Life channel where we talk about all things prepping, EDC, uh, like do reviews, guns, knives, gear. Uh, today we are going to do a knife review. You know, there's a lot of people who would love to be preppers, but they just can't afford it because it's expensive. It doesn't have to be. And that's what this series is about. Uh, budget prepping, budget EDC series is about budget prepping and budget EDC. Now, I would know better than anybody because I pretty much all my prepping and all my EDC, not all my EDC, but most of it is budget. High value uh, budget items that don't cost a lot of money because you know, life's expensive enough as it is. Today, we will be talking about the Kershaw Hot Wire. Great little knife. Let me just start off by saying that. Uh, you know, Kershaw, when I was a kid in the 80s and 90s, they, um, you know, they weren't known for having a real good product. And they really stepped up their game um, a lot. I mean, I, taking on the, certain Emerson designs and, and whatnot. And uh, they are, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck when it comes to knives. Now this knife's pretty awesome, okay? When it's open, you know, when it's open, it's five, or no, I'm sorry, six and three quarters inches, almost, six and five eighths, let's say. Uh, good looking knife. We have a three inch blade, and I love the shape of this blade. You know, it's very reminiscent of my, uh, let me get it out here, it's very similar to my Leatherman Sidekick. In fact, it's pretty much identical in the shape. Um, and why is it that shape? Because it's a great utility shape for opening things. For It gives, it gives the strength, the tip some resilience, but it also gives it some penetrating power. Um, it's good for, it's a great utility knife. And that's why that blade is that shape. Uh, what's this thing weigh? You know, big, 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 important thing, especially if it's an EDC. Let's see. Boom, 1.93 ounces, not even two ounces. That is awesome. That is very, very awesome. So we have a typical stainless steel blade. You know, it doesn't say what kind it is, unless that's it, unless I don't know what that means. Right there on the blade. I think that's the, uh, not the steel, but the product number for Kershaw. You have a stainless steel blade, and as with all Kershaw knives, at least recently, it is razor sharp. You can shave the hairs off your face with it. Uh, really sharp. Matter of fact, my finger found that out today from this blade. You get your typical plastic handle. This is not a G10 handle. This is plastic. Pocket clip, which is ambidextrous. Right or left-handed, you can switch it from side to side. It is in the right place. And that is tip up. That's how we always want to carry. You can tell real, real lousy, extreme budget knives because the clip will be have you carrying it in your pocket this way, which forces you to pull it out and have to flip your blade around. This way you pull it out and it's in the right spot. Um, it is a spring assist blade. Very strong spring assist on it for a little guy. Uh, pops right out. And it stays shut. Shake it. Doesn't come loose if I shake it hard. Like that about it. All right, let's talk about the pros of this knife here. Um, number one, it's 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 cute. It's sexy. Look at it. It's tactical, but it's not. That blade shape just gives it a more of a tactical feel. Adds a little bit of intimidation factor. Um, more pros on this, like I said, great blade shape for utility. Wonderful. Love it. Love that shape. And it's sharp, like I said before. Very, very, very sharp. Right out the box, this thing will do some cutting. Uh, my other one's easy to sharpen. I have two of these. This one's actually my son's. Um, this one's brand new. Mine I've had for a little while, and it's, it's, it sharpens right up. Takes an edge great. Uh, Love the solid spring action on this thing. Spring is real good. And that is an issue you will find with budget 
pocket knives. It's hard to find a budget knife that actually has spring assist, um, let alone good spring assist that works every time. Love the spring action on this thing. And the blade, look at that finish. That's that sandblasted finish. You know, I don't like the black blades as much. I don't like painted blades and, uh, you know, black coated blades because they, they, they look like hell after you use them. Yeah, it can be cool if it's a big hunting knife or a big chopper or something like that when it looks worn. But a little knife like this, yeah, I don't want to pull it out to cut something and it just looks like hell. I love that. Sandblasted finish. Sandblasted finish. Yeah, it shows wear and tear, but nothing, you know, like a colorized or painted blade does. Um, it's a good finish on this thing. Uh, the pocket clip is very tight. It stays in place. This blade locks into your pocket beautifully. I don't know how anybody can even consider buying a pocket knife that doesn't have a clip. I, it's such a crucial element for me personally. Um, more, more pros to this, the, pro, the list of pros versus cons. I mean, the pros just keep going and going. It's lightweight. You saw me measure it. You saw me weigh it. 1.93 ounces, was it? I mean, you don't even know this thing's in your pocket. Don't even know it's clipped there. Uh, like that about it, too. It's ambidextrous. Like I said before, you pop the clip on either side. That's it. Ambidextrous. Right or left-handed. Um... And, you know, no, most important thing, the price. What are you getting for 10 bucks? 10 bucks? Really? That's at Walmart. If you buy it online uh, on Amazon or eBay, they run between 15 and 25. And these are sold out at both Walmarts near me. <laughs> but you can order them online still. But they're very popular. Everybody's realizing how much of a good deal this blade is. Um, so let's go over a list of cons, and there's not many. The grips. They're not G10, they're just cheap plastic. And in a way, it doesn't, doesn't really bother me. I mean, whatever. Um, it makes it lighter. G10's a little heavier, I think. Feels like it. Maybe it's just the blades that have it are heavier. But, uh, so we got some cheap, lightweight plastic. The grip itself, well, they put some ridging on it, and you do... You can feel that. The grip's okay. I would prefer it to be a little more tacky, a little more aggressive than that. In fact, I'm a big fan of extremely aggressive grip on guns and knives in general. I mean, why not, right? Um, I don't like how the handle's undersized. It does go all the way across all four of my fingers, and I am an extra large size in gloves. It does, but when you want to grab it like this, you start to lose the pinky. Um, but, you know, that's which the price you pay when you want to have a small knife that fits, that weighs nothing and fits places. Is it a huge deal, deal breaker? No. Certainly not a deal breaker. Uh, I don't like, I don't know how they missed this. There's no jimping on this blade. Why? You know, you have this thing here. I don't even know what you call these. This trigger, so to speak. Great for blocking the finger from slipping up on the bottom, but what's to give you a good purchase on the top here? Nothing. No jimping. I mean, that would have been a simple... They could have charged doubled the price of this thing and put jimping in some G10, and this thing would be worth every penny. It'd still be worth every penny if it was twice as much as it is, in my opinion. So, okay. What, what would we use it for? Real life applications. Obviously, like I said a million times, utility blade. Wonderful utility blade. Do you carry a big tactical knife and you don't want to have to break it out and use it to cut open boxes, things of that nature? Then yeah, this could be the knife for you because um, you won't notice it. You can carry two knives. It does have, I mean, with this blade and how sharp it is, it definitely has some self-defense capability. Three inch blade, eh, yeah, I mean, you cut somebody open with it, for sure. So there is that. I'd prefer something bigger myself. But yeah, it has a great utility factor. It's a good marriage between utility and, I guess, tactical for a small knife. It really is. 
and it looks the part. Um, I've carried one, like I said, oh, maybe six months. I carried it six months every day straight, and it was uh, it was a wonderful uh, EDC knife. I used it every day. Um, never had any issues with it. I've pried with it, uh, resharpened it, dulled the blade. It always takes an edge. It holds an edge for a, a decent amount of time as well. Utility, yes. I mean, that's the only real, true real life application I can think of. But you know, if I'm gonna go utility, why not carry one of these, right? I mean, that's cool. How cool is that? Serrated blades they make for, uh, for utility knives, love it. Stay sharp forever. Oh, maybe not forever. Well, this is why you might not want to carry this. I still will carry this instead, now that I've got this. Um, I just will, because it's, it's, I can replace the blade, I don't have to sharpen. I hate sharpening blades. But, what's this thing weigh? Yeah, I put that skateboard tape on there, and that wasn't on there. This thing had no grip, it was smooth. Well, damn son, that's about the same. So yeah, you know what, for me, if it's just for utility, I'll take this. Gerber makes this. Gerber folding utility blade. This thing has a great clip too. This clip will lock it in place. You can ride it high in your pocket, it'll stay up there. Um, really cool, look for my review on that, on that Gerber utility blade. But what's the Gerber utility blade not have that this has? It doesn't have the cool factor. It's not as nice. It doesn't have the pocket knife feel. And quite frankly, it doesn't have the self-defense capability that this little hot wire does have. Um, would I buy this knife? Do I recommend it? Absolutely. 110%. Um, for 10 bucks, you can buy them online. Walmart.com has them. Uh, nine something a piece, 9.93 I think they are. You know, they have those weird prices at Walmart like that. Um, 9.93, anything over, I think it's 35, 36 bucks, Walmart ships for free. Buy four of them. Why not? You know, another real life application. How about as gifts? Who wouldn't want that? I'd be happy if someone gave me one of these. Beautiful, perfect. In fact, my father loves small pocket knives like this. He carries a SOG, a small SOG knife. He hates big knives. I showed him this. He said, get me one. First thing he said, he wants it. So, yeah, there is a good gift potential here. And at 10 bucks, people are going to think you spent more than you did if they don't watch these videos. Well, so, yeah, Kershaw Hotwire, highly recommended. Love it. Prepper Life, seal of approval for sure. Great little knife. Get a bunch of them. Like I said, order four of them. 40 bucks? You have four. You give them as gifts. You have backups. Keep one in the bug out bag, one in the glove box, one in the junk drawer in the kitchen, uh, one in your pocket. Definitely worth it. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, keep, uh, be sure, like and comment and subscribe. Subscribe. You like these, these, this type of stuff? You look into budget prep? I've been budget prepping for a while. I know all about it. And uh, that's what we do here. But uh, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any experience with this knife yourself. And uh, I'll put a link. If you do want to buy it on Amazon, you don't want to go to walmart.com. You don't want to give them the business. A lot of people hate Walmart. Um, it'll be five bucks more probably because I've never seen it for less than 15 anywhere else. But you want to spend the extra and, you know, help us make, I think we'll make 15 cents with each one that sells. It helps us to buy more low-budget gear and... Um, do, do these, these kind of videos for you so you can make a more educated decision for yourself before you go spending money. Do appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.